Hey folks, got a little project we're going to start here. It may take me a few videos to get this thing put together, but my brother-in-law gave me this gun. Um, it's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, a little surface rust. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to clean the gun up a little bit and try to re-blue it a little bit. I'll show you this gun, what it looks like now. A little revolver. H&R ink. If you look at that side, it doesn't look too bad. But this other side, it's got a little bit of surface rust on here. So my intentions are to take this little scrubby and get a little work on it. And see if I can get all the surface rust off of it. Well, what we are nervous about is getting the grips off. If I can get the grips off without them breaking, I'll do that. But I'm going to do this kind of in steps to see if I can get this thing cleaned up and see what it looks like if I can re-blue it. I've got this Perma Blue, Liquid Gun Blue. I tried it before. I'm going to show you all uh, another video. Actually, I'm going to take a little shot of my 20 gauge shotgun. A uh, co-worker had a shotgun up. Okay. I'll show you this other shotgun that I did. I took it apart, scuffed it up pretty good, got it all the way back down to shiny metal, and then um, got all the the surface rust off of it. Still pitted a little bit, but I was able to re-blue it with this stuff, and that gun come out real good for a, just a cheap secondary gun. A uh, guy had it up in his closet, and uh, you know it needed some TLC, and so I was able to put some time into it. It was just a little project uh, gun to mess with and I actually turned out pretty good so I have to show you all that and we'll see what we can do with this gun so stay tuned to see how it turns out all right y'all I wanted to show you all this this little single shot 20 gauge shotgun it's actually a Stevens model 94 so it's not a very uh, expensive gun it has a uh, composite stock this is like a plastic stock here um, so that thing really gets tarnished quickly but the barrel because he had it up in his it was in a closet or an attic or something and so this barrel was totally rusted so I was able to scrub it down and get all the rust off of it and re-blew it that barrel was actually as brown as the stock is right now so, but that's what that bluing did. So since I did a great job on that, uh, that's why my brother-in-law asked me to do that other gun. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, one little screw right in the center. And those grips came off pretty easily. So now I'll be able to get in underneath the, underneath the thing right here and try to get all that surface rust cleaned out. It just holds together with a little bracket right here and two little bitty screws. I'm doing great with my camera job here. So we'll see how it turns out. All of that surface rust is coming off right in here on the hammer. You can see how it's getting a little shiny. If I look at the other side, it's still kind of dark. The blue end is still pretty good. Getting a lot of the getting a lot of the blue off of it and getting it down to smooth so that when we go to put it back together it'll look pretty. Alright. Gonna 
real good job on getting all that surface rust off of there. Put some on the trigger guard. Got that all cleaned up. All around where the grips were. All that's cleaned up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely wipe it down with alcohol so that it, when it dries, it's completely dry. Then we'll go back and I'll read the instructions. But it says use a sponge. So what it says, I'm almost out, so I need to get some more. Clean the metal parts with denatured alcohol and rinse with cold water. For complete re-bluing, use a uh, steel wool or a brace of cloth, which is what we got here, a brace of cloth. We got all the most of the bluing off, most of the rust off of there. So clean again and rinse. Apply blue with saturated swab or sponge, and that's what we got this for. Allow to work one minute. Rinse with cold water and wipe dry. Polish lightly with steel wool. Repeat steps four, five, six, and seven to obtain a darker blue. And it does say danger, poison, corrosive. So you don't want to get that stuff and leave it on your skin too much. So that's our next step. We clean it up good with alcohol. Make sure it's dry, completely dry. And then we use a sponge. Last time I put that in a little dish and paint it on there and let it get totally saturated. But you don't leave it for a long time. You just put it on, let it sit for about one minute, and then you got to rinse it off. Dry it and do it over again. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I got it all cleaned up, rubbed it down real good, rinsed it off with cold water like it said. Now I use alcohol. And the reason why you use alcohol is because when it evaporates, whatever it was on is completely dry now. That way there'll be no moisture left. So I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol on this paper towel right here. I'm gonna completely clean that up, make sure it's all the way dry. Put a little bit on here. That way there's no dust, no residue, no water, no moisture at all on the gun while we're gonna blue the surface. You can actually see when you when you wipe it on there, you can see it wet and then almost immediately it goes right to dry. Okay, there it is. We're all ready to gonna get us a container to dip to put the blue in and then start painting it. Remember you only put it on for one minute. And then you rinse it off. Okay, I just put a little bit of the bluing in this container so I don't make a mess. What I'm going to do is just dab a little bit and get it right in the areas. You can see how it's going dark already. 
I'm only going to leave it on there for one minute. What do you wipe it off with? Rinse it off with water. Okay. I'm getting it nice and You can see it darkening up as you apply it. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't. And you don't have to do it in any kind of uniformed way. You just dab it. You just dab it on there. It doesn't have to be brushed a certain direction. Yeah. Cool. That's a chemical okay. reaction. If you'll video that, I'm going to turn it over. And it is a chemical reaction. Might as well. nope. This side won't need as much. Yeah, that side looked pretty good. Was it the way it was laying? Yeah, it was laying somewhere and that's how it got more rust on that side. I think Ian will be very pleased. Oh, I'm sure. With how this gun's turning out. Oh, look how dark it's coming. So does it get darker um, with every application? Every application it gets a little darker. Is this stuff dangerous for your fingers? Yeah, you shouldn't keep it on your hands too much. Somewhere around the top, maybe a little more. From my angle. Mm-hmm. It already looks better. Inside the trigger guard area, mm -hmm. on the back section, I was noticing. Right up in there? Yes, sir. Okay, it's still wet, so I'll clean this off my... All right, one minute. And then I gotta go rinse it off. Take the chamber a little bit. It's funny how one minute is all they want you to allow. It. And then you just go wash it with just water? Yep. Cold no, water, no too. No soap. Cold water, too. Okay. No soap at all, right? Right. Okay. I'm going to go rinse it. I'll be back. All right, y'all. After just one application, look at the difference. And of course, it's still a little smudgy, so we're going to buff it out a little bit. Amazing difference after just one coat. We're going to try to buff it, clean it, and do three different coats. So, looking good so far. Alright y'all, final look at this gun. We put two coatings of the blue on there. If I had more, I probably would do three or four coats on there. The more you do, the darker it gets. But, considering what it looked like before, now, if you get up close, you can see we still got some pitting from where the rust was on without sanding down the metal all the way down flat. You'll still have some pitting, but the coloring came back through with that bluing. Nice and dark. It doesn't look like a brand new gun, but it doesn't look like it's 60 years old either. H&R model 732. Smith & Wesson. I think that's still the original H&R grips. There you go. Hope you all enjoyed the video.